Hi, this is Mama G. I have my PhD in parental household discipline. Whatever you have in your household, I probably raised it, taught it, loved it, spanked it, punished it, and definitely prayed over it. The West Coast Premier Podcast Network. Good evening, everyone. This is Ask Mama G from World 2 Radio TV on YouTube. Tonight, we're going to talk about teaching your children to be responsible. And the holidays are coming. Yoo-hoo! The holidays are coming. I hope everyone had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I did. But later on, I'll show you pictures of my Thanksgiving. But tonight, we need to teach our children to be responsible. And I mean that sincerely. Because you tell your children to ask your grandparents for some money, but you don't teach them to pay it back to us. You don't. And we like our retirement money. We don't want it wasted. Yes, we'll give you the money, but we'd like for you to write an agreement and say, when are you going to pay us back? That's the most important thing. That's the first step in responsibility, is teaching them how to pay back. So remember, parents, it's your responsibility to teach your children to pay their bills. Pay your bills. For those who believe in God and prayer, we need to pray for our country and what's going on in the Middle East because it's affecting us here in our land, in the United States. So we have to pray, pray for peace and understanding and restore humanity in the Middle East because it's affecting us. And if we don't pray, pray for the Middle East, It'll be de devastation in their land. So we have to get on our knees. In the book, it says, for those who pray and ask forgiveness, he will heal our land. I'm just paraphrasing that. But it, but it is in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. For those who humble themselves and pray, he will heal our land. So we have to repent, humble ourselves, and pray. Pray for those people over in the Middle East because it's affecting us here. So remember to pray for humanity. The First Amendment guarantees me the right to express my opinion. Recently, I got some young people upset because I've talked about how y'all wake up with the raggedy hair from Black Panther. Well, look, I have a right to tell you that because I'm your grandmother and mother. I'm, I'm old to be both. And we don't want you to go outside looking crazy. It's okay, wear your hair out any way you want to, but let it be neat and clean. Don't wake up and say, oh, I look good and you got hair all over the place. Comb it into a style, into your braids, into the style. Make it look neat and nice. So yes, I have a right to remind you, you represent us when you walk out that door. You represent your mother, your sister, your grandmother when you walk out that door. So look nice. That's all I got to say. Now I'm gonna give you some history. Before there was Tamil Man, and Yolanda Adams in the gospel world, there was a great woman named Mahala Jackson who was born in Louisiana. And she was born October 28th, 1911 to John Jackson, a senior minister in uh, Louisiana. And she was also the daughter of Charity Clark. She began her singing in the church. She was exposed to the jazz and the blues, but she ended up singing gospel. She married Thomas A. Dorsey, another famous person. 
And her first notable song she recorded in 1931 was let the holy let the power of the holy spirit fall down on me and then she went over in france and won the french academy grand prix award and she was also recognized for her singing in two hollywood movies in the movie the imitation and also the St. Louis Blues, 1958. But her last important appearance was at Martin Luther King's service. She sang a solo at his service in 1968. So Mahala Jackson was the first queen of gospel. So remember that young people, look her up. Cause Mama G will always bring you something you didn't know but I found out you should know. The favorite part of my show where I give the shout outs to my birthday people. I love birthdays because one day we're gonna all gonna stop and have them. So let's give the shout outs to those birthday people. And guess who had a birthday? Whoopi Goldberg had a birthday. Elizabeth Dodds, Tina Livingston, Sylvia Wilson, Mary Crockett. No, Misty Crockett. I'm sorry. It's Misty Crockett. And Sonia Adrina. So you guys have a wonderful birthday. May God bless you and give you the strength to do what you want to do in your birthday year. May you be prosperous and healthy. Have a good birthday. Hi, I'm As Mama G from World Tune Radio TV. Whatever you have in your house, I probably raised it, loved it, taught it, spanked it, and definitely prayed over it with God's help. The reason why I have this show, because God has allowed me to raise four different children. I've raised a super talented one. I've raised a Special Olympics one. And then God sent that challenging one. To, I even raised that prestigious private school one. See, Rory Graham Jr. was the first African-American cadet to ever serve as chaplain at that prestigious private school, Army and Navy Academy. Unfortunately, in 2009, he passed away. So the former general asked the family to start a foundation to inspire the young men in the community at the Army Navy Academy. In the community, we do a dress for success where we take the senior boys at General Murray High School and give them a white shirt and a tie for their picture day. You know, there's many ways you can help us. One way is go to your phone, and go to Cash App, Cash App RG Junior JR Foundation. Any amount will help. Then you can always mail it in to P.O. Box 4306, Oceanside, California 92052. Hey, family, now you know I got everything you need to buy. I have my purses here. In fact, they so big, you can put a child in them. Then I have the backpacks for the kids to take to school. Then I have the different color of hats. I got the hot pink, the pale pink, the two black ones for the men. It says Billy and Lacey and Ass Mama G. So, and then I got the t-shirts for y'all to wear. I got the, the cute one with my beautiful face on it. Then I have Billy and Lacey, cause you know that's what you're doing. All proceeds, Go to the Rory Graham Jr. Foundation. No, they don't go to my Cadillac. I don't have a Cadillac, if you want to know. So please, donate whatever you can to the Rory Graham Jr. Foundation. Thank you. Media everywhere. Lift every evil.
Let our rejoicing rise high as the listening skies. Let it resound loud as the dark past has taught us. Sing a song full of the hope that the presence has brought us. Facing the Let us march on.